I'm Justin Davis, and this is Drone Camps RC. Hey guys, welcome back to the Drone Camps Bench. Uh, today I have a new review for you. These are the Tattoo 30 amp ESCs with D Shot. Uh, no BEC on there, uh, but they are external ESCs to use out on the arms. Uh, not a four in one, but it comes with this kind of uh, handy little box here. This is kind of sweet compared to uh, some of the other packages that you get like this, uh, just a little label on top. This is kind of fancy, um, but aside from fancy things, inside they have a pretty decent little manual. Just tells you a lot of the specs that are on these. These are capable from two to five S. Uh, also, I'm running D-Shot 600 on my uh, Leopard 230 stretch right here and uh, BL Heli S. Now, I did get to fly this out at the motocross track last week with Team Ferrari out at the Portland International Speedway and uh, it was the first time I was out there with Seattle Multirotor and so uh, I was a little bit nervous about testing this setup. I hadn't even test hovered this yet uh, with these new ESC so I was kind of interested to see how everything was going to work because I took that Kakut all-in-one flight controller and uh, I soldered up these ESCs to it. You can see them a little bit closer here. Um, pretty nice looking ESCs. They're a little larger than some of the other 30 amps out there, but they're pretty easy to solder up if you uh, are new to soldering because the actual the pads are pretty far apart and spaced apart here as well and i did take the ground wire off uh, they're still functioning just fine now in my testing i'm also testing these out with some pretty power hungry motors on there these are the emax 2306s and uh, i've already burnt up a few escs those emax uh, 30 amp escs they are quite a bit smaller uh, but with these motors, I've actually uh, browned out a few of these, and uh, maybe it's my uh, my racing style, but uh, yeah. Uh, so anyway, these have held up so far. They're very smooth. Right away with my first hover test with these, um, I was actually impressed how smooth everything was right out of the gate, and uh, with this f4 kakut that's on here it has that floating f4 processor which is kind of new to a lot of fpv flight controllers some like it some don't but um, right away i was able to hover with these 2306 motors and uh, the power response from these escs was very very smooth with this setup so i'm very pleased right out of the box um, the first build the first test was absolutely perfect uh, and everybody at the field got to watch the maiden in person so um, very quiet sounding setup with um, these tattoo 30 amps they're actually really nice and the avon props from emacs performed really really well so this is a nice setup and uh, the ESCs didn't give me any trouble. Now I did calibrate them using uh, the uh, beta flight motor tab. You want to make sure that you do calibrate them before you uh, you go use them because you want to know uh, the ESC needs to know what your throttle inputs are. Um, very important to do that before you try to maiden it for the first time. Now for some of you guys that are new uh, to building and quad racing in general, if you have standalone ESCs, it's kind of nice. It's kind of uh, old school to this point. Uh, a lot of people using four and ones, and it kind of cleans up things. You don't have things hanging out on the arms. But the benefit of doing it this way is the fact that if you burn one out, you only have to replace one and not the whole stack. Um, it puts them out on the arm, and I just use a little bit of VHB underneath each one so people could actually see what ESCs I'm running here. Uh, but the nicest thing about these is that yes, you can replace just one, um, and it would be like a, a $17 fix instead of something like a, a $40 or $50 fix. Now, when they first contacted me and told me that they were going to make ESCs for you guys, um, I I had pretty high hopes for Tattoo because uh, honestly, I've been running these R-Line batteries, these 1300s, uh, 4S 95Cs have been kind of my go-to battery this year. I've I've grabbed this every time first out of my bag and, and flown these first in all kinds of different motor setups, and uh, they've taken a beating as you can see, and they're still kicking. I actually had uh, a couple of them kind of puff up on me. 
and after a nice balanced charge discharge uh, bring the cells all back to level and um, they're running again so uh, pretty tough batteries if you're looking to um, to to buy a battery that has high performance these are I can recommend these easily uh, now another battery I've been really having a lot of good times with is these V cans and a lot of people don't know about these uh, but these are really tough sturdy batteries no swelling whatsoever on this uh, and i've been using this battery for about six months uh, so v cans definitely awesome battery for s1350 75c nice battery my other go-to battery is that lumineer graphene battery and as you can see this one hasn't started to swell at all either um, so i've been running these pretty hard this is a four cell this is uh, actually 80c and 160c burst pretty crazy so those are all three really good batteries uh, but packaging is nice you know we got this nice little box here nice presentation from tattoo and uh, you kind of expect something nice like this from them so uh, so far so good everything seems to be running absolutely perfect on my new leopard stretch and uh, I was showing it to the, some of the guys at Seattle multi-rotor last weekend and they all seem to like the way this looks and uh, if you'd like to check out the leopard frame uh, i'm not sure how much it is but i'll try to put the link and some of the links to some of this gear down below if you guys want to check out some of the specs or um, build something similar to what i have uh, now by the way this is that ax2 from lumineer on the back nice uh kind of compact little antenna there and uh, also if you guys want to you can check out See if I can find it here. These little pagodas from Emacs are actually pretty sweet too. Uh, this is the shorter version. You can get them short and long. Uh, so, uh, so far in my testing, I've actually, I've broken, they've broken right here. A lot of people think that they're gonna break here, but I haven't broken a single one of these right here. Uh, they've always broken down at the base. But as some of you guys know, you can actually fix that. You can just solder back on a new connector. Uh, so. That's about the end of this uh, tattoo ESC review. Uh, I think the, um, the proof will be in the flight test and the footage. Uh, I do have some DVR footage coming up from the racetrack. Um, these guys were out there with their water hoses and spraying water everywhere. So uh, I was trying to avoid a fire hose while testing this for my first maiden on the motorcycle track. So it ended up being kind of interesting, but uh, a lot of fun to fly out with uh, Seattle Multirotor and the guys at the uh, Pro Aerial Race League. So anyway, guys, thanks again for watching. I'm Justin Davis, and uh, I'll see you on the next one.